TryYourWilderness.com. I thought I'd jump on here today and um, show you guys my next uh, project, and I think you'll be really happy to get involved in this. I am going to do, I did the unboxing today. I'm going to spin the camera around here and show you what I've got. All right, here we go, guys. This is my new sun oven, and I am extremely excited about this. This is an all-American sun oven. It's uh, designed very awesome. Um, comes with a lot of things. I'm very excited to be doing a review on this. Um, real excited about the uh, enamelware. It comes with stacking um, pots with a glass lid. Um, it's two stacks of uh, enamelware pots. It comes with four bread pans, which is awesome because we make a lot of bread here. We have a leveling rack there, parchment paper. It also comes with a multi-fuel water pasteurization indicator, which is pretty cool. That's something that they are uh, that's new that they're working on, um, and is highly recommended. And we'll I'm gonna do a full-blown series on this, so stay tuned. It also comes with the varying racks there, and it comes with a uh, DVD. So. Um, you've got everything you need to make everything in the sun. And um, being that we are 100% solar powered out here for our home, it folds up super nice um, and is easy to carry. It's got a handle. It's got a clasp to latch everything tight and this snaps on here and off you go. And we are going to go outside. I'm going to show you... Um, my new potting table slash solar kitchen and set this up. Uh, we're going to make a batch of cookies, but this is a fantastic product. Um, we are all about solar. Um, we could not be happier living off-grid with solar power. We always have plenty of power. And we're all about being frugal and conservative and eliminating additional expenses. So being able to cook in the sun all spring and summer and then on our wood stove in the winter is really um, awesome. I'm real excited about that. And um, seriously, you can make everything in this. Breads, pizza, you name it. And I'm going to show you how and go over this with you. So stay tuned. We're going to head outside and uh, set this thing up, all right? Hey, guys. We're outside. And this is a... Um, potting table that I made for the greenhouse and getting all of our um, seeds sprouted and our garden going and uh, like just the convenience of having a table to work with and that is made from pallets. Um, you can read more about that in the um, New Pioneer magazine upcoming and I also wanted to make this large enough that it would fit my sun oven so that I could also come out here and set it up and cook on it and not have to worry about um, male dogs marking it or what have you. <laughs> now it does come with a um, leveling leg and also has two um, spikes that you can push down into the ground um, for wind um, uh, control it's, you know, on windy days so that it doesn't blow it over um, if you're placing it on the ground. But I wanted to specifically put it on this table so I have the convenience of cooking and um, being able to have a table to work on. So I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back. Also, um, the way this opens up is just, it's very uh, uniquely designed and it's very lightweight. Um, and you have, I'm going to try to do this the best I can here. Um, this opens up. You've got a great cooking space. You've got your um, thermometer in there and uh, I've got perfect sun here. Um, right here are my solar panels so it will get the same amount of sun that my panels do. It's clear for full sun pretty much all day and all you do here is you pull on these and they unfold. So you pull down on those and they unfold so it was a one hand deal and I'll step back here so you can see how this is set up. So it's reflecting all that sun into the box and into the cooking area and I'm going to go get a batch of cookies ready and uh, get them going while I uh, do some other outdoor chores. I need to check the bees today and I'm also going to be uh, shoveling some horse manure and getting it ready for uh, the garden, um, getting it in place where we can easily work with that and wood chips and some varying items from the wild here so that I have a good mulch base um, so that we can do our uh, 
back to Eden type garden, um, which I'll talk more about in another video. But uh, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned, and I will uh, show you what cookies look like in this in this baby. So this is an all American sun oven, and um, again, this is going to be an ongoing series. You'll see all kinds of goodies coming out of this every day um, throughout the summer. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I wanted to get on here and show you something else. I mentioned a leg in the back, which is um, to align things. It's also um, to uh, allow you to hold it down in the wind, um, but it. For aligning things, the ideal lineup of your sun oven, you can see these holes. This is an alignment gauge, if you will. Um, see how there's a dot of light down in here, and there's also a hole. Well, the objective is to get that light that's coming through the hole lined up with the hole in the bottom. So it is currently not lined up properly. I'm going to adjust it and um, show you what I'm referring to. As you can see, the sunlight shining through the top hole is now lined up with the bottom hole. Now what I needed to do is drop the leg in the back down um, two spaces and move it uh, to the left. So you'll have to you know align it with the sun and that is your objective so that the better alignment with the sun the um, more accurate your heating is. Um, I'm gonna go around the other side here and show you the back. Just bear with me here um, so that you can see what I'm referring to. And you will have to move this throughout the day to be with the sun. Um, there you can see the leg and it has varying holes here on the back to line it up to uh, dependent on how you need to set it to get your perfect sun. It will work on cloudy days um, but it's much better if you have a full sunny day um, to be able to cook in this. Um, the cooking will slow down on a cloudy day um, but it will still continue to cook. So um, this gives you an idea of how this works, how you set it up. And I'm sorry that this is so close up. Uh, my iPhone gets pretty close. So hopefully you can get a uh, feel for um, what we've done here. And I'll back up just so you can see how I had to align it. And then as the sun moves, you'll just continue um, to move it. And if you are you know, off working and you have something cooking and you can't you know, move it every 30 minutes, um, the best thing is to align it where your best sun is between 10 and 2 and um, just let it... Uh, cook as you as you're working. So um, we will continue to uh, do and and talk more about this. Again, I'm going to go get a batch of cookies together and get them out here, and um, we'll start with those. Stay tuned. Hey guys, something I wanted to point out here is that part of the process when you get a sun oven is you do need to clean it with vinegar. Um, so you put a bowl of vinegar in there to basically steam, um, and then you wipe clean your sun oven. Now, so that's going to make cookies. Um, there's a lot of people out there that do these fantastically beautiful pictures of their food. And it's not that I can't, but I've got so many responsibilities. Um, I do things uh, a little different sometimes, and that this is my cookies. I actually make a cookie cake, and that is chocolate chip cookies. And this here is a leveling rack. Um, there are screws in the inside of the sun oven, and because you have to tilt it to reach the sun and to get the proper sun, you um, need to use this leveling rack so that when you put your food in there, it is level. So I'm going to wipe this out, get my cookies in there, and like I said, I've got a lot of responsibilities. So I am moving on to the bees to check my hives, make sure they're doing all right, and then I am off to uh, do a little shoveling of some horse manure so that we can get things going with the garden. Uh, spring is finally hitting here, so... I want to get a move on that too. So um, I will come back and show you what these look like uh, once they have. Okay, once it's I'm finished. back. My uh, phone died on me. Um, I've got all the solar going on today. Uh, I've got the Goal Zero solar packs there. Um, it's a Nomad 7 and it goes along with the uh, battery pack here, the Guide 10 Plus. Um, I am charging my phone right now and we'll be. Um, charging them on on that unit in just a second but um, the chocolate chip cookie cake is in the solar oven and um, I'm good at improvising that pan does not fit in there so I have it at an angle and we'll just have to adjust it periodically and um, I'm gonna head off to the bees I need to get me one of the uh, head head cams uh, so that I can uh, show you the bees as I'm working on them so that's another investment down the road but not in, in the uh, budget right now. So um, I will take a look at them and uh, come back here and check on this. So stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. 
Mountain Boy is drooling all over the sun oven at the chocolate shake, yeah, chocolate chip cookie cake that I made today. It sounded like you said chocolate um, shape. Yes, it didn't come out right. It didn't come out right at all. And you can laugh at me all you want. Yeah, but it is actually, um, we, we got uh, clouds come in, but um, you can see it that it's browning, and when you open that up, it smells fantastic. So You can smell it without it open. Can you? That's why he's drooling all over. So it first, first cooking and baking that has been done in the All-American solar oven has been a success. I uh, really like this. Um, I'll back up again so that you can see um, the stand. Uh, again, that's my potting table and solar kitchen for this summer. Um, behind that that you see framed in will be our greenhouse. So that's why the potting table is right here. Looks a little disheveled right now, but before long we will have the greenhouse there. This is our first day of sunshine and had about a week of rain and three days of sun before that and two weeks of rain. So it's it's we are really enjoying the sun when it comes out. So um, thanks for joining me today. This will be the um, end of this video, but stay tuned. I will be uh, dehydrating some celery probably tomorrow, and I have a sourdough uh, bread starter going, so I will be making sourdough bread this week as well. So Austin's going to be my taste tester, and I'll let him report back later um, and tell you how they were. So you guys take care, and until next time, God bless.